One of the strengths of using PTC MathCAD for engineering calculations is that it comes with over 400 built-in functions. And some of them you can probably figure out on your own. So for example, I'm doing natural log of 10. Hey, that's going to be equal to 10.3. Or maybe I want to do the sine of, let's say, 90 degrees. Well, I type that in, I get 0 0.89. One thing to note is that in MathCAD, it is using the natural measurement of angles, which is in radians. Degrees doesn't make any sense, but if you want to enter in values with degrees, hey, just use the unit for degrees, and there we get the values that we expect. Let's take a look at some other functions. You'll notice that there is a functions tab here, and we have about 12 groups of different functions. For example, we have our differ differential equations. And if you put your mouse over any of these, it'll tell you what it actually does. And I'll give you a little explanation. Also tells you here that if you hit the F1 key, that will go to the help for that particular function to explain how to use it. And so we have others like probability distribution, statistics, and solving. Uh, but a big one that I use a lot is file access. And so from here, you can both read in files as inputs to PTC MathCAD, and you can also even write files back out from here. And so one that I use a lot is the read Excel function. But rather than use it from here, if I just click on it, gives me this and that's not so easy to use so let me just swipe a box over that and hit the delete key if you go to the input output uh, tab you can use the read excel function from here and this gives you a nice dialog box so i'm going to navigate to this one for coin toss. I wrote a bunch of blog posts for PTC where I analyzed the coin toss. And actually, based on my predictions, uh, it actually fell in line the last two years uh, in advance, knowing that the Eagles and the Patriots were going to win. So anyhow, let's read in that Excel file. And here it's going to read in, looks like rows one to a thousand. That's way too many. There haven't been a thousand Super Bowls. If I scroll up in here, I can see that, hey, you know what? I only wanna read through line 52 or row 52 and for the columns uh, it's going all the way out let's see eight through l no i only need actually through i there's a j column that i don't need in there and so now when i click insert here i have the function let me move this over to oh, let me just tab it over and that's a little easier and so here we have the function input in here but i actually need to assign this to a variable so if you position your cursor at the front of the function you can do something that's called a retroactive assignment so with my cursor at the beginning over here if i hit the colon key that's the definition operator and then i can assign it to a value and i'll just call it sb for super bowl and let me adjust this over to the left and by the way when i went beyond the length of the page you'll notice that I went to a draft mode so we can see the non-visible part, the area where you could actually hide some of your calculations and figure and stuff out uh, from the main sheet uh, if you don't want people to see stuff. Now let's go ahead and evaluate it. So I'll just type in SB and then the equal sign for the evaluation operator. And here you can see a truncated version of the spreadsheet that I read in, but I don't want that taking up all that space here. Let's delete it. And if I want to go back to the regular page view, you can go to the document tab and then change from draft view to page view. And there it looks the way I like it to. All right, so there are a couple of different functions. Let's go back to the functions tab in here. And so we've got these 12 different dropdown groups, but maybe I want to go to some to see all the different functions that are in here. And see, we can see that there are a whole bunch of other different uh, categories in addition to the ones that are listed in the ribbon. And instead of listing them by group, you can also change to list them from A to Z. And there we see the full list inside of here. Uh, one that I'm going to go use, let's change back to view by category. 
I did another blog post where I used MathCAD to simulate the motion of a shark in water and that required me to use random numbers and so here we have a bunch of things for generating random numbers and here we have RNDX that returns a uniformly distributed random number between 0 and X let's click where we want it to appear on the sheet and maybe I want to return a value between uh, 0 and 100 and again just like before let's do our retroactive assignment and I'm just going to call this for lack of originality R and then we can evaluate R actually we can evaluate R in line just put an equal sign and there it gave me the value 19.33 if I go to the calculation tab I can just hit calculate again and I'll keep on getting different random numbers out of here. So those are just three of the functions that you have in PTC MathCAD. Again, really, really powerful for any kinds of engineering work that you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. And again, a reminder, PTC MathCAD Express is available for free. You can download it from the PTC website. Thank you very much.